changing the sprocket on the 2019 beta 125 rrs i'm going to be putting on a jt sprocket jtf 1550.13 13 tooth i will have some of these for sale soon up on my meeker extreme facebook page so if you want to get one it's going to be reasonable not beta crazy price It looks two eight mils right there. Uh, I like this setup. This is better than their big bike. Has the one solid one. I couldn't undo it for my test. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. This is kind of like the Honda XR650R. You got this and then you just rotate it. And guide it off. That's all you do. And I'll probably have to bring in the wheel too, but I just wanted to see how easy. It came off really easy. All I have to do now is loosen the rear axle and then adjust these in. And then that will give me plenty of room up here to pull the chain forward and pull that sprocket out and put in the 13 tooth. Easy, easy. So 11 millimeter is these guys. So they made both, the one you adjust in and the lock nut, 11 mil. One of them should be bigger than the other so you can use two different sizes. Oh boy. So, got that task done, 11 mil. Who carries around two 11 mils? It's more common to have a 12 and a 13. Go figure. Okay, as you can see, chain is very slack. I hope I have enough room. If not, I'll keep going at that more. There we go. Oh, had enough room. Yep, that's a 14 tooth. See if this has a part number. Uh, this isn't a JT. This is a 5D7. Don't know if that's the brand or what, but 14 tooth. 5D7. 5 David 7. So it's cool. JT makes one because JT is, well, I like their stuff. Seems like such a small sprocket. Let's kind of get it in there. There we go. Just like that. Get the screw in. Kind of get that hand tight there. Oh, wait. Forgot. First, you have to put it on. There we go. Then I'll check by hand, make sure. Man, that is like real close to the chain. <laughs> 13 tooth. Okay. Yep, that's good. So now back to adjusting the back out. Sad part is I'm gonna have to find another 11 mil so I can tighten down that at the same time as I hold this into the spot it needs to be. One thing I didn't notice right off the bat is there's no swing arm markings. 
not even to give you a guide. They're not always accurate depending on the type of bike, but it's a guide at least. <laughs> so they didn't even bother giving you the, us that. I don't know why. I guess every little penny counts. Just an observation, I'm not knocking. It's just, you know, again, new riders getting these bikes, adjusting chains is important. And, you know, it's kind of a pain. Now, I, I have calipers and stuff, so I can actually take a measurement of this bolt on each side. And, well, that should, in theory, be uh, good, right? <laughs> That's still too tight. So, 7 16th is basically the same as 11 mil. Next step is to put this guy back on. snug and there we go got the sprocket changed hopefully this video helps you out so you can change your sprocket and not be worried about it this video is more for new riders that just bought this bike and might not know what tools they need for example i didn't know the axle was a weird size i think it's like a 24. i don't have a 24. i have ones that fit my xr and gas gas which are the same but of course this bike is slightly different. So I just used an adjustable. So you have an adjustable that works for the axle. You're not gonna really carry that on the trail. So you're probably gonna wanna pick up the correct size so you can have something to change a tube should the time arise. The other thing is the 11 mil bolts for the adjusters. That's kind of crazy. Not sure why you need two 11 mils, but like I showed, 11 mil and a 7 16th works just fine, so they're the same size, so look for one of your standards. And I happen to have this little guy, and that one could be carried along with that other wrench, and there I go. I can tighten and then make adjustments to the chain tension uh, bolts. As far as the front, nothing strange there. Hopefully you saw you just need a eight mil socket, pop off the side cover here, pop off the little retaining clip, you know, just kind of rotate slightly, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So pretty easy on the front side of things. So hopefully this helped you out. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out my other videos, and check out, most importantly, the ride video that's going to be coming of trying out the 13 tooth sprocket, because then we're going to try the 13 tooth with the 65 tooth and just see how that does. So follow along. Hopefully you like these videos. Have a good one. Bye.